Hello and welcome to another video and podcast from Fancy Football Scout as we look ahead to the deadline of game week 30. It's team news time. My name is Joe and as ever I'm joined by Fancy Football Scout editor Neil. Neil, welcome. How are you? Not too bad, Joe, yeah. yeah. Sifting through the, the injuries today from, uh, as we usually get in an international break, a bump, a crop of flags. Mm -hmm. Many of them imagined injuries that yes. uh, couldn't really clean them up. But uh, we've got still got some lingering doubts. We've heard from everybody, I think, bar Roberto De Zervi. Yes, he wasn't. Yeah, he wasn't on the press conferences, and he has been known in the past to do a press conference on a Saturday. Yeah, so it could be that's the case. Yeah, that could be. Yeah, that could be the case. Often it is. So, uh, uh, for Brighton team news, do have a look at Fancy Football Scouts um, social media um, and articles um, overnight and tomorrow morning, uh, whenever Deservey um, can um, appear and tell us things. Welcome to those joining us early in the live chat. Do remember to press that like button. Do remember to subscribe, keep up to date with all our videos and podcasts if you're not already. Uh, welcome to Anil, Attaboy, Dennis, Jonathan, Big Head, uh, G Wiz, a particular welcome to G Wiz with moderation skills there. Uh, Jammer, oh, cool. um, Jason, Justin, uh, uh, Piaz83, uh, and many more. Thanks so much for joining us early on. Um, okay, we're going to get straight in with uh, the first game, which is your side, Neil. Newcastle yes. against West Ham. So um, I don't know if I'm going to believe it's not. I'm not going to believe anything you say, but anything you say, re repeating what Hal says, I'm not going to believe. But anyway, fire away. <laughs> What's the latest from Newcastle? Yeah, do you know what? He hasn't actually been that bad this season. He sort of cultivated a bit of a, a rep for himself when he was at Bournemouth, and he hasn't been too bad. But the last few weeks, he's sort of reverted to type mm. in terms of uh, very vague updates, and this one is, is the vaguest of the lot. So it concerns Trippier, Livermento, and Barnes, who were all sort of penciled in for a return after the international break. And he was asked whether any of them would be available this weekend. And he said, yeah, possibly, let's wait and see. And that was that. Hmm. Um, based on previous updates, he seemed confident on, on Barnes and Livermento especially. He did say, I think this was about two or three weeks ago, that there was no guarantees that Trippier would be back for this one. So perhaps he's... Okay. The latest, the last of the three, but again, that's purely guessing game. We don't know if, uh, what the situation is there. We did get some other updates. Uh, Lewis Miley's returned with a back problem okay. from you know, the 20 duty. Joel Linton, Tonali, Wilson, and Pope, they're still out. Dubravka's fine. He came back from international duty with Slovakia early, but it was just personal reasons. And Botman, in case you hadn't re uh, heard, you probably have by now, he was added to the, the long term injury list over the break. Uh, knee surgeries had and that's going to keep him out for six to nine months wow okay so that would mean especially for those wild carding this week uh lascelles pretty nailed on to replace him i would stop short pretty nailed on oh. but he's, he's certainly favorite i mean even how mentioned today that burn and dummett can play at center half okay. you, you would think as, as a reward for his sort of hmm. long uh, serving um you know he's been there i think best part of a decade i think and he's been back up to, to Botman for, and Cher for a long time. Uh, you'd think he would get the, the bulk of those games. However, of course, we are sort of floating okay. in mid-table, not really playing for much. And he has sort of hinted that he'll play a few games. Like Lewis Hall, for example, who's a left-back stroke, left-wing back, he's hinted that he may get some uh, additional games in the running. So okay. just be a little bit wary come game week 37. That may be some... Oh. Uh, weird things going on with the Newcastle team sheet by that point. OK, I sure, I'm going to wait and see him to start a few more games before I tuck in on my future wild card in 35 I think uh, West Ham what's the latest there yeah, we've not heard much from West Ham there's nothing on the official site but we saw um, Rashan Thomas who's one of the journalists who must be on site uh, and have said that uh, Moyes has reported that the Hammers are pretty much fine mm -hmm. so I'm assuming that means kudos is alright because he was flagged he'd come back from international duty with Ghana with a minor knee issue we think uh, there is a question mark over Naya Aguero, according to uh, Moyes, and Pakitar as well has been assessed. I'm not sure um, what the problem is there, but that's the, the line out of the press conference anyway. Um, someone we know who is definitely out is Edson Alvarez, uh, their defensive midfielder, so he's out for two match ban as a Viela card accumulation. And Maxwell Cornea, who's been out for a while, he himself hinted on the West Ham website that he should be back after the international break. OK, so if Paqueta um, is out or has reduced minutes, um, that usually um, affects the other attackers' returns, particularly Bowen. The, the entire side, yeah. I mean, yeah. even the point like Emerson, for example, has such a good relationship with him that he, it mm -hmm. seems to affect his output as well. So, yeah, hopefully good news from West Ham's perspective on 
Paquetta, but uh, I'm not too bothered as a Newcastle no, fan. No, hopefully there's good news from the Newcastle perspective. Yeah. And he's uh, hospitalised for this one. <laughs> for this one, but makes a swift return the uh, yeah, exactly. next day. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, <laughs> I was terrible wishing ill on that player there, but I'd stress just for that day. Uh, Bournemouth uh, versus Everton. Um, yeah, what's the latest from Bournemouth as they prepare to host Everton? Yeah, good news on Solanke, who's been struggling with a, a niggling knee injury for actually it's for all of this calendar year. Um, but he wasn't called up for international duty. He's had two weeks off, two and a half weeks off, actually, because he was, he was blanket in game week 29. And... Uh, Iraola said yesterday that he's been training very well, training perfectly, no issues, and expects him to be 100% on the weekend. So those okay. are very good, positive words on Solanke. On the injury front, Senesi still out, uh, Fredericks is still out, Sinistera has been added to the injury list as well. Kirk has picked up a, a minor calf issue while away with uh, Hungary, I think he plays for. Um, hasn't been completely ruled out this weekend. Two bits of good news, uh, Lloyd Kelly and Max Ahrens are back. Oh. Uh, Aaron's has been past fit. Mm -hmm. Kelly's been back in training and has a chance of being in the squad. Mm -hmm. uh, that sounds more like the bench from what uh, Iraola was saying. But of course, those two being back, they do impact on on uh, Kirkes as well. If you've, anyone's still got him from the uh, blank, what was it, double game week 28 yeah. uh, matches, uh, he has now got increased competition there through, okay. through Kelly uh, and Aaron's. Yeah, so it sounds like you can't rely on Kirkes at all this week. Um mm -hmm. But, um, uh, yeah, especially with Kelly's return. But we always thought that as well. I think Kirk's owners thought that. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, with Everton, uh, what shape are they in for this? Yeah, pretty quiet. The team news. Uh, Idrissa gone again. He was back for Senegal, so he's fit. Uh, Dan Juma and Dali Ali, they're still out. Dan Juma's first team training session was yesterday, so he's not going to be ready for this one, but near a return. And then Lewis Dobbins being added to the injury list as well. OK, right, Joe. Well, let's move on. To next name, uh, well, yeah, Chelsea and um, Burnley. We we got some team news yesterday, I think, for Chelsea, which is a bit unusual. She's on a Friday, but um, mm -hmm. good Friday today. Um, so yes, what's the latest for Chelsea? Quite a few sort of uh, niggling injuries there. Yeah, and th three more addition to the um, the very literal injury list because they do actually publish an injury list on their website every week. Uh, the new additions are uh, Chuck Wilmaker, Chalabar, and very relevant if you're a Petrovic owner. Uh, Sanchez as well. I don't know the details of that injury, but he's, he's on the list um, uh, as of yesterday and still on that list and have been for a while. Uh, Lavia, Ugochukwu, Colwell, Reese James, Fafana and Nkunku, who we thought might be back soon, but he's, he's still out. Um, Chilwell's going to have to be assessed. I think not. it's not just the knock that he came back with, but also the fact that he wasn't expected to start twice, I think, in such a short space of time after being out for so long. Okay. I think Pochettino was clearly a little bit irked by that. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if Cucurella starts over him tomorrow. Um, the main news everyone's probably looking for for Chelsea, uh, Palmer and Gusto, they should be all right. Mm -hmm. uh, Gusto uh, had a virus pulled out of the yeah. France under 3 squad. He's been seen in training, so we think he's all right. Yeah. Palmer, um, he was affected by a minor injury. He missed that first England game, was on the bench for the second match. And Pochettino said yesterday that uh, he's been training all right. And if it's, you know, if, as long as there's no uh, setbacks, then he should be fine for Saturday as well. OK, and as for Burnley, there's not usually much interest from FPL managing Burnley, but they have just had uh, a played during a blank game week. Um, so there might be a few Burnley players knocking around in some teams. So what's the latest yeah. there? So one of them, uh, Fafana, he can't play okay. tomorrow because he's uh, on loan from Chelsea, so he, he can't face his parent club. Um, company said that their internationals are return unscathed, nothing new, but that's as much as we got from him. Who you know, He's one of the... the, the um, Notoriously unhelpful managers when it comes to team news. Um, Ramsey, Redmond, Kolyoshu, they're long term. And then short term, Alda Kiel, uh, Jordan Bayer, and Masengo as well, but no clues on any of them from company. Okay, right. Yeah. Uh, moving swiftly on to Nottingham Forest against Crystal Palace. We'll go for the home side first. The latest from Nuno. Well, much the same as company. You give very little away in terms of team news. He said uh, some issues, that's what he said. Um, some of them internationals have returned okay, some of them with problems. He's probably alluding to Willie Bolly there, who picked up a muscle injury while he was on duty with Ivory Coast. Um, they already had Tavares, Montiel, Olaena, and Awani flagged from game week 29. Uh, Chris Wood was taken off in that match uh, after scoring against Luton. Some people had him in their teams. But I 
Judging by Nuno's words yesterday, I think he's fine because he was talking about him being needed in Awani's absence. Oh. So he's talking as if he is going to play. So uh, we think he's all right. OK. And as for Crystal Palace as well, um, some big injury news there, from particularly in goal. Yeah, it was it was a very big injury news day today actually, and, and Crystal Palace being lower down the list mm. um, sort of highlights how many how much of importance was elsewhere. But this there was some significant updates from Palace as you see there, um, particularly if you're all looking at them for double game week thirty four. So the goalkeeping injury is Sam Johnson. He's out for the season now after undergoing surgery on his elbow. So um, Dean Henderson comes back into the equation for not well, just this week, but the rest of the campaign. Right. Um, Daniel Munoz is 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 fine. He came off mm-hmm. uh, with a minor issue, I think, precautionary substitution. Okay. Or I think because of Columbia he plays for, uh, over the international break. Uh, he's all right. Jeffrey Schlupp's fine as well. He's back now. Uh, Michael Alisi is back in training as well. Someone who people might be thinking about for 34. He's not going to feature this weekend. He's probably not going to feature in game week 31 either. But game week 32 is sort of a a, a date that they're penciling him in for. So a, a few weeks of uh, audition period for him before we make a decision on him for, for 34. Longer term, they've still got Frank, uh, Mark Gay, Raksaki, Decorey and Holden. Uh, Oliver Glasner said today that um, he's hoping that Mark Gay and Decorey feature again at some point this season. Okay. Anytime soon. Yeah, Crystal Palace, interesting side for FPL managers. It's got two good fixtures, including this one, then two bad fixtures, then yeah. a double game week. And they've got probably one of the best double game weeks as well, two home yeah, games. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, I've got Anderson. Uh, Munez will be popular. Uh, particularly those who've got a free hit then, um, they can they can uh, invest in Crystal Palace and know they don't have to face them again in 35 in their team. But um, yeah, Sam Johnson's season over. That could put Henderson in the mix for a um, double game week 34 team as well. At least say in Eze, of course, um, yeah. Mateta uh, will be on people's radar already. Um, let's move on to Sheffield United against Fulham. Uh, what's the latest from Sheffield United? Uh, yeah, we had um, some updates yesterday from Chris Wilder. And he said that uh, George Baldock was touch and go, the, the uh, Greek international, if you... Um, that certainly took me back when I first learned that about sorry, a George, year ago. Uh, sorry? Yeah, George exactly, Bull- yeah. George Baldock is a Greek international? He certainly is, yeah. I mean, you can tell from that name that he's, he's of Greek stock. <laughs> um, wow. Yeah, he's, he's, he's been... I think he's been playing for about a year or two now for, for the Greeks. But I, I, the first time I learned that, I did have to do a double take and check <laughs> I uh, wow. read something incorrectly. Wow. But he's... Uh, yeah. <laughs> he's just been an injury... Whilst away with Greece, funnily right. enough, um, a calf injury, and he is now touch and go for the weekend. And he wasn't seen in training yesterday, according to the Bladesman, who I would recommend everyone follow. Yeah, uh, for the United news. Um, while they did hint that uh, Archer and Ben Slamani were going to come back, they're both described as nearly, and they yeah. were seen in training. Um, Brewster, Lord Norton, Davies, Basham, Egan, they're all out. Mm-hmm. Holgate's back from a ban, and Tom Davies wasn't seen in training either uh, by the Bladesman. Uh, he hasn't been um, listed as an injury doubt by anybody yet, but that's possibly an indication that he's struggling with something. <laughs> so lots of uh, Greek versions of George Baldock appearing in the live chat. Thanks for those. Georgius Baldockikos, uh, Baldockalopolis <laughs> as well, um, and uh, and many more. Thanks a lot for those. Uh, Fulham, um, I think they're they're fully fit, aren't they? They are. That, I can leave it there. Uh, oh, nothing okay. new. Nothing. Uh, nobody um, but, you know, freshly injured, so all fine. Uh, but if, if anyone's tempted by Broya and Diop, um, when they missed, they missed out on twenty nine, but it was for tactical reasons. I understand. So that means yeah. dropped. <laughs> yeah, very much so. I think, uh, Raul Jimenez came back from injury as a substitute in that match. So Broya was shunted down the pecking yeah. order up top. Okay. So it's not looking good for him in the running. Rightio. Uh, let's move on to Tottenham Luton. Lot of expectation and hope. Lots of Spurs players in people's teams. Lots of people wildcarding Spurs players in. They face uh, Luton, who are f- uh, facing a relegation battle of their own. Um, what is the latest with Spurs? It's pretty positive because we had um, some scares last night about Richarlison. I think Paul O'Keefe had tweeted something hugely reliable. Um, this is Richarlison's niggly knee. So he's, he came back from this injury in game week 29 as a substitute. He then went away with Brazil, but didn't play a single minute. And um, uh, Postacoglu says today though that he has trained. So okay. uh, they are monitoring, they are being careful with it, but he has he has trained and he is available. 
Also available is uh, Mickey Van Der Ven as well. Mm. So he's been out of the house and he's trained. And he was absent in game week 29. I think they missed him at the back against Fulham. So he's available as well. So I think that just leaves the uh, longer term ones, Forster, Sessignon and Solomon. OK, uh, Van Der Ven fit is, is um, good news for potential clean sheet because it means they've got a centre-back who can um, actually run after the opposition players, which would be good. Uh, for Spurs uh, there. Um, I'm still going to play Alfie Doughty in this game. Is Alfie Doughty fit? Are you? <laughs> yeah, I am. He is. Because yes, I'm he is. insane. <laughs> well, he's got as much. I mean, in, in this season where the clean sheets are hard to come yeah. by, you might as well just play your attacking defenders a lot of the time. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's, he's in the mix for me as well, to be honest. <laughs> I've got I've got um, Porro and um, Conte, who I'm definitely starting. And then it's it's one of Doughty, Gabriel, or that's it, because Reggie on the yeah. band. So. Yeah, I've got a- Anderson... Doughty or Stupanan. One of them's playing. <laughs> yeah, and you know who's going to get the, the most um, chance yeah. of an attacking return from yeah. those as well. Mm, yeah. um, Doughty's fine, yeah. He's been past fit, so is Ruddock and Pando. They both came off in game week 29 with uh, various injuries, but they trained and they're all right. Uh, pretty dire news elsewhere, though, and the Luton injury front. They've been, uh, it's been actually added to rather than shortening over the international break. So Og Benny's now got a hamstring injury which will keep him out for uh, a couple of weeks, a few weeks, I think um, Edwards says. Uh, what else have they got? Um, yeah, Sambi Lekonga, um, Mads Anderson and Adebayo. The, uh, Edwards was asked about those three yesterday. None of them really that close. Lekonga's on the grass, but a few weeks away. Uh, Osho's still out. Uh, Bell still out. Potts, Brown, Nakamba, Lockyer, all still out. Joe Johnson might be back, but he's had glandular fever, so they're going to be careful with him. So... Uh, pretty uh, bare bones, you think, um, the Luton squad. Okay, yes, I, I was reading somewhere that Rob Edwards was saying that they're down to su- such bare bones. They had some of the coaching stuff. One of the, the coaches was in yeah, the Kevin opposition Gordy, team yeah. in training and then promptly got injured himself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Yeah, <laughs> it's, a, it's a bit of a curse at the minute with Luton. Um, yeah. I think they are down to, I think they've got two substitutes now who've got any sort of Premier League experience. And the rest of them are just academy kids. So, right. hence why people, I think, are tripling up on, on Spurs this week. Yeah, yeah they can. Except me. He's playing, <laughs> playing one of them. Okay, uh, let's move on before I cry in my state of my <laughs> defence. Uh, uh, Villa against Wolves. Um, yeah, what's the latest from Aston Villa? Uh, yeah, Matty Cash is out uh, for two to three weeks. He came off in Poland's match against Estonia a, a week ago, it was. And he hasn't featured since. He didn't feature in the, in the, the final of that uh, playoff round. And he's, yeah, he's out for this game. And then Emery says today, probably around two or three weeks. Um, John McGinn's also out. He's still suspended. Uh, Kamara, Mings and Wendy are long term. The one player they could get back is Jacob Ramsey. He's uh, progressing well, according to Emery. And then they're going to assess him for the weekend, see if he can feature. OK. Uh, meanwhile, with Wolves, um, striker problems have hit them over the last well few weeks. But um, they might have one back. Yeah, Matthias Cunha, I think he's going to be in the squad for sure. It's just how much game time he gets. So Gary O'Neill was saying today that they've got to decide whether to start him today or bring him on from the bench or start him on Tuesday because it's a, it's a three-game week coming up. I don't think he's going to start both of those games. So um, they'll pick and choose, I think, his minutes. They don't want him suffering a recurrence of that hamstring injury after what's happened to Neto. Uh, speaking of which, he's probably out for the season or um, much of it could come back right at the end. Huang is making good progress. Actually, he's also got a hamstring injury. He's slightly ahead of schedule, so they think he could shave off some of that three weeks that he's got left in his recovery, which would put him, I think, on track for a double game with 34, uh, potentially. Okay. Although he'll just be back then, so that, again, they might be managing his minutes. Okay. Um, interviews are elsewhere as well. So Dawson and Bellegarde are out. Um, Bellegarde has got a knee injury and uh, could be out for a while. Dawson, they think, should be back next week. But he's not going to be available for this one uh, with that groin injury that ruled him out of um, the FA Cup quarter final uh, a fortnight ago. And if you saw that game, Coventry absolutely went to town on, mm. on Wolves in terms of chances. So wow. hence why I'm definitely keeping Watkins this week. Yes, I am too. And yeah, that was a, an amazing game for Coventry fans, definitely. Um, Brentford against Manchester United. Yeah, let's go with Brentford first. Uh, I know Region is suspended. Luckily, yeah. just in my team for one week. and uh, <laughs> But hard luck for those who've still got him. <laughs> uh, what else is happening at Brentford? Yeah, he's back on Tuesday anyway. He's only he's only suspended for one match. Okay. He's available from 31. 
They've actually got some good fixtures coming up from 33. If anyone's still looking at single game week teams, it's easy to uh, overlook them. Um, Thomas Frank isn't expecting anyone back, though, from injury. So he's going to have to pretty much go with the same group again. Uh, Pinnock and Norgard, they're not ready to return. And I think they're also going to struggle to be fit for the following two game weeks, according to Thomas Frank. Kevin Sharder, remember him. Uh, he's trained over the international break. He's been out for, I think, five months, six months at his. Uh, he's not yet in contention. He's got to build up match fitness. Aaron Hickey's progressing. Again, he's been out for five months. He's still injured. And then out for the season are um, Rico Henry, Josh Silver, and Ben Mee. So, uh, again, another team that's kind of down to the bare bones there. OK. Um, Manchester United. Um, yeah, there's, all, there's always injury news there, isn't there? Um, <coughs> I, I suspect today there's no shortage of it. Yeah, they, they were one bit of positive news, and that is uh, Lissandra Martinez could be back. Uh, he's been he's been actually doing rehab with his national team. I think he went away in Argentina over the, the last fortnight to sort of finish that recovery process. And he uh, he has a chance, according to Ten Hag, to feature this weekend. Um, Shaw, of course, hasn't him. Malasia Martial out for a while. Amad Diallo's suspended for one match because he took his shirt off in that four uh, three win over. Liverpool and is now suspended as a result. Yeah. When he scored the winning goal in against yeah. Liverpool, and then he gets yeah. suspended. The it game, is a, it the game's is a, gone. The game's gone. The game's gone. Yeah, it has a rather daft rule. Yeah. Um, and apart from that, Ten Hag kept it pretty close to his chest. But luckily, nobody's of any note really in terms of fantasy. Maybe Harry Maguire, you could argue, because he's, he's, he's cheap tag. But Evans, Casemiro, Maguire. And uh, Altai, the goalkeeper, they're all out of international duty, either ruled out completely or in Maguire's case, came home early. And we've not had any updates on on those, fortunately. OK, next up, uh, Liverpool. We do have team news for, and plenty of team news for. Um, Brighton, nothing, <laughs> because De Zerbi hasn't yeah. opened his mouth yet. Uh, but he could do later today or Saturday morning. So, yeah, let's go with Liverpool. That's all we got. Yes, uh, we've got quite a bit, as you say there. So, um Still out this weekend, Jota, Alexander-Arnold, Thiago, Bicetic, Doak, Matip and Alisson. Uh, but Darwin's fit. Canardi is fit as well. He played for France over the last fortnight and he had a recovery day yesterday and hence why he wasn't in training. Jones has rejoined training as well. Good news, relatively good news on Robertson too. Um, he came off with an ankle injury uh, while playing for Scotland. But scans returned some positive results. No sort of damage there. Mm-hmm. Probably only going to be days rather than weeks. He's not completely ruled out of this one, actually. He's not going to train today, but they do have tomorrow before Sunday's game as well as an extra training session. So, right, yeah. And if he does miss this one, and if he does miss 31, I think he's going to be back long before game week 34. Um, yeah, there was a, a, a line about um, the rest of them. He says he expects the others to make partial returns to training next week. Mm-hmm. Um, but then he did say he wasn't expecting them back this match, the next match, or the following match, so that'll be 32. So it's probably 33 onwards that you're looking at Jota, Alexander Arnold, maybe Allison as well. Um, there was, a, I don't know if you saw this clip, there was a guy, I think he was on a, was he on a tour of uh, of um, Anfield and he bumped into Klopp and he asked him some questions. Oh, His <laughs> questions. Okay. The, the video's been taken down now by the request of the club. And I think he said, Klopp said then that Allison was out for about two and a half to three weeks. Ooh. So that puts him possibly on a on a return before double game week thirty four if you've got Kelleher if you Well, you say if yeah. I have. And I was <laughs> hoping to play him. So I better be getting up to Liverpool with my with my <laughs> baseball bat. I mean there's a there's a long way to go before then. You know, we could be we could it could be um you know that was a testimony of Klopp while he was yeah. probably caught off guard and just Came right. up with a figure, but uh, okay. um, we're certainly not expecting anyone back before 31, probably not 32 either. And then, so yeah, probably 33 the week before the double is right. when we could see some of those injured players back. Rightio. Okay, then um, I'm not really going to go up to Liverpool with a baseball bat. Just, just before people lay this down in the comments, I can't believe Joe's going up to Liverpool to try and beat up a six foot five goalkeeper. <laughs> I'd quite like to see it, mate. I'd quite like to see it attempted. It would be pathetic. It would be <laughs> a really, a, a small middle-aged man attacking a trained athlete <laughs> <laughs> who's about a clear foot taller than him. Nope. That, you may hold you off like, you know, on, that, on the yeah, do when yeah. you just grab it on. <laughs> With my um, legs moving as if someone's like yeah. jug- juggling uh, marbles in the jam jar. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Okay, Man City against Arsenal. 
uh, what is the latest from Pep? Yeah, um, Pep actually gave us some stuff today. So um, Stones and Walker are both going to miss this game. They both left England camp at various stages with, with injuries. Uh, Pep doesn't have timelines on either of them, but he did say that Kyle in- Kyle's injury is more tough than John's. So you assume that means it's okay. going to be harder to recover from. But yeah, neither of them are going to feature this Sunday. Uh, Akanji is fine though. He came back from international duty with a knock. And Nunes, I think, had also seen reports that he picked up a knock. He was in training yesterday, so I'm assuming he's fine as well. Edison's much, much better, according to Guardiola. He was seen in training yesterday, as was De Bruyne as well. Um, we didn't get much of an update on De Bruyne today. He did say that he's such an important player. He trained really well yesterday, was what Guardiola said. So we'll see what they're going to do in the next few days. So, um, Two bits of bad news from a defensive perspective, but they could have Edison and De Bruyne back. And they, by the sounds of it, they'll have a Kanji fit as well, which is okay. which is big because otherwise they might have been looking at someone like Rico Lewis or um, you know someone, uh, a, a square pig in a round hole, deputising either in defence or as one of the inverted fullbacks. But it could be, off the top of my head, a Kanji, Diaz, Aki and Gvardiol maybe at the, in the back mm. with uh, Walker and Stones in. OK, and uh, last but certainly not least, because it's massively important news, lots of interest in Arsenal. Tough fit this fixture, but lots of interest in Arsenal in general with a double game week coming up, favourable fixtures, um, but and lots of question marks over their players. So, yeah, what is the latest from Arteta? And can we believe him? Uh, no, okay. in, in short. But, I mean, and we did get an update from him, but if you sort of look at it a bit more closely, there's not much substance to it. Uh, he was asked about Saka and Gabriel and Martinelli as well. Uh, and Arteta says, yeah, there is a chance. Uh, they haven't trained. Uh, this was as of Friday, but tomorrow we have another session. So there's a chance that they could be available. Mm. Of course, none of them were seen in training in midweek, but that's nothing new because the Arsenal photographer almost never snaps injury doubts just yeah. to keep the opposition manager guessing. Um, and I would not be surprised in the slightest if at least two of them are fine, Saka and Gabriel. And then Martinelli, I wouldn't even be surprised if he's fit as well. But he, he has been out longer. He's been out since beginning of March with that, um, I think it was a gashed leg, wasn't yeah, it? A cut, yeah. Yeah. He was sighted on crutches the following week. That's the, that's the kind of um, worry because this wasn't just the day after. This was yeah. um, the following game. You know, he was on crutches then. Yeah. But Gabriel and Saka, they both came out of international duty. The reports were that they were both precautionary withdrawals. So... Okay. You would not be surprised in the slightest if they're both yeah. fit. Yeah, definitely. Uh, elsewhere, sorry, elsewhere, um, <clears throat> pardon me, uh, Party's fine. He came out of the Ghana squad, but that was just to work on his fitness. He played behind closed doors for Arsenal. Timber's the only one left, I think, on the on the injury list, but even he's back on the grass and doing various stuff. Hoping to play again this season. And David Ray, I'm sure everyone knows, he wasn't available in, in Arsenal's last league match just because of ineligibility uh, to face Brentford. But he's obviously available now. OK, uh, let's have a look. Let's see if we can round everything up then. Um, hopefully I've got it up on screen. Yes, I have. So I've left a, f- a few out. I think um, Ogbene Luton. Oh, no, I have got him in. Uh, that's fine. Um, so, yeah, fit to play. Uh, Gay at uh, Everton. Uh, Palmer is absolutely fine. Um, in case people thought that. Um, it, it, it would appear that De Bruyne is fit to play after training well. So whether he plays or not, or starts or not, is another matter. But he is fit. Uh, Edison... We think uh, Akanji seems to be fit to play. Um, Darwin Nunes, absolutely fine. Munoz at uh, Munoz at um, Crystal Palace is fine. Schlupp is as well. Richarlison looks fine to play for Spurs. Van der Ven is back as well. Um, questionable, however. Um, Trippier, Barnes and Libramento. Uh, that trio could play, might not. Questionable at the moment. Trippi's got car problems. Barnes, the hamstring and Livermento with ankle. So they may be back. Um, Martinez could be back for Manchester United with his knee problem. Chill world, dead leg uh, makes him a, a, a questionable for this. Um, Saka, Martinelli and Gabriel, as we just heard, uh, there is a question mark over them. But it seems it's very difficult to tell. And don't look at training pictures and say, oh, I can't see Saka. I can't see Gabriel. That means nothing. That, as Neil explained, that is a tactic they do to um, keep us all on our toes. Um, Kuna could be back. Looks like he's back for Wolves. Uh, Recover from his hamstring. You see Paqueta and Edward from West Ham. They are having an assessment uh, on whether they'll be available or not. Robertson with an ankle problem, likely to keep him out. Um, but he may he may be back, but he's a doubt. 
um, out. So this is quite a lengthy list. Botman's quite, just had surgery. He's out for the season, not just this this season, many months. Uh, for Farn is ineligible against his parent club. Um, Ogbené hamstring issue is going to keep him out. Sanchez has a knot. That's going to keep him out. So Petrovic is safe. Uh, Walker. Uh, and Stones uh, have hamstring and muscle problems. They will be out. Allison is still out with his hamstring problem. He could be two to three weeks away there. Um, similar for Alexander-Arnold and Jota. They've got knee issues. Johnson, um, his arm problems. Sam Johnson's out for Palace. That means Henderson is a lock if you want to go for a Palace keeper. Uh, Elise, hamstring issue is going to keep him out for this one. Cash. Um, hamstring issues for this one as well. McGinn is suspended for Villa. Region is suspended for this one, but he is back on Tuesday for Brentford. I think I've got most there. How many saw you? Yeah. Okay. Uh, thanks a lot for joining me on this Good Friday. Um, thanks for everyone um, joining us in the live chat. Um, thanks for all your um, funny comments. I enjoyed laughing. I tried not to laugh too much because I had to sort of change screens and things. Um, but thanks a lot for that. Uh, I'm off next week. Um, so, um, but, but team news and all the, uh, all the usual videos and podcasts will be, um, taking place next week. Um, well, most of them will be, um, so, uh, do watch out and do listen out for them. Do remember to press that like button. Do remember to subscribe to keep up to date with all those videos and podcasts and do check out membership offers at fantasyfootballscout.co.uk. Um, thanks a lot, Neil. Good luck with the game week and good luck everyone watching and listening. Thanks, Joe. And thank you everyone for watching yet again.